Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I have a webcam, and uh, yeah, I just got it. And, well, today we're going to be learning about, learning about Unity packages. But before we start the video, I need to get two things out of the way. Yes, I have a webcam. Go watch one of my other videos. Comment down below, is it better or is it worse? I genuinely can't tell, and I don't know. Second thing. I know I need a haircut. <laughs> My hair is very long. I will be getting one soon, maybe. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so we are here in Unity, and I am in a tutorial project I've worked on in the past. My Terrain Gen tutorial. Go watch that series. It's a great series. I am probably going to do an update of it soon, and maybe do one with tessellation and a bunch of stuff like that. That's beside the point. Today, we're going to be looking at Unity Packages. Now, first of all, what are Unity Packages? They are very helpful. They are essentially uh, files which contain Unity data for Unity to import, and they can contain prefabs and scripts and everything like that. Now, you might be asking, what is the difference between me just dragging and dropping a folder into my Unity folder? There is essentially no difference other than... It is more convenient to use a new Unity package because everything is inside one file rather than inside a folder with like 50 files. So I'm going to be showing you how to set up a package in Unity and then be able to import it into your other projects. So again, here I have my Terrain Gen tutorial. And the first thing you're going to want to do is to make a folder with uh called like prefabs or some sort of folder which you can identify all the things that are gonna have kind of preset data onto them for you to for you to use so here i have you know just three basic objects i have my directional light my chunk generation for my terrain and i have the player which at this point is kind of nothing let just you can imagine there's a player in your game right so to make a prefab of something you just drag it into the folder from the scene view and it creates a prefab which contains all the data already in it now the cool thing about unity packages it saves all that data as long as you have the script inside the unity package it will save all the data that's on that object so it's as simple as going up to assets it clicking export package and uh, click export package and it will bring up this little menu right and uh let me just expand this and as you, as you go down the list you see oh it's all the stuff in my project you won't want to export your entire project um unless you're making uh, a project specifically for a unity package which i've done several times you're going to want to disable things that don't matter such as you know your universal uh render pipeline settings uh your shaders you might need um, scenes I always like to have an example scene inside of it and sometimes you know what I'm just gonna completely turn off models as I don't really want to explore my models I'm gonna keep my materials uh, however my graphics I'm gonna turn off so I should just be exporting my shaders my scripts my scenes my prefabs and my materials now there's a little button down here called include dependencies now if your objects have other scripts on them or uh in some cases materials and stuff it will automatically export those materials and scripts with what you're exporting in the unity package and then once you're done uh choosing items to export you can simply click export and it will bring up the classic uh windows menu which you can pick whereabouts you want it to export to now i'm gonna go into my dev my game dev game assets and i'm sorry my uh scripts and in here i'm just gonna uh create a new unity package so i'm gonna call this one terrain generation save and it should export and it should compress the package and then bring it up show you and uh, as you can see i've got my own unity package right there inside of a new project you can then go up to assets and then under this menu you can go import package and you can go custom package and then select your unity package that you created it's going to pull up the unity import menu as you might have seen multiple times when importing other packages or 
when you're import importing a package from the package manager. And it's going to show what you want here. And here it says, uh, warning, file exists in project, but with different GUID will override existing asset, which may be undesired. If you're 99% of the time, that's fine. Um, it's just because there is already a folder in the new project called scenes. You might want to change that. You might not. Up to you. I'm going to go ahead and import all my assets. And it's going to compile them and add them to my project. Cool. And as you can see, the new files have been added to the project and you can now access them. I can even go in and drag and drop a chunk generator in and my player in. Make sure all the settings are on there. Uh, the water and stuff isn't. That's fine. I can drag in my player. And we click play. If you haven't seen my video on removing this annoying loader, check the link in the description. And as you can see, it creates the terrain, but obviously because we're in um, a script or render, render pipeline and not universal render pipeline, it's not actually going to render anything because Unity's amazing, isn't it, guys? Anyway, guys, if you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe. My yearly goal is 500 subs for the end of the year. That would be amazing to me if I could reach that. Also consider supporting me on Patreon, it's quite cheap and you get all the project downloads for free, plus I might start uploading onto there early, depends how many people on, I think we're at like 8 at the moment. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.